What's up, Print Fam? Welcome back to the Print Shop. I had someone asked, I think it was Eric, to go through my walkthrough of how I set up files to print on the Canon Arizona to then cut on the Suma. So we've got screen recorder going so I can show you how I do that. This is a file that I received from a customer and I am going to go clean it up because if you look at it, it's got all sorts of crazy stuff. So I need to clean clean it up. But in essence, uh, first thing I like to do is make sure the file is set up correctly, which it is not. So we're going to come here and change it to inches. And then we are going to change it to 48 by 96, because that's how big my boards are. They are definitely smaller. So I'll have to confirm with them what size they want it to be. Next, these are duplicates. So we are going to get rid of the duplicate before we go through and clean everything else up. So by selecting this, I can see that most of it is selected here, except we've got this area down here, which is what we really need because they have what they called white areas. So my guess is they made this in like Canva or something. So we just need to go through and pull these out so that we can fix everything. So basically we're going to expose all the layers and pull out what we really need. So now we've got these here. We are going to change them to just black. We're then going to change it to magenta change it to an outline and merge the thing. So now we've got one continuous path to do the cutting. Now the second thing I'm going to do is I want to move this cut path to a new layer that I typically just call cut. So I'll come select the layer. Oh, move it to cut. It is doing all sorts of freaking out here on me. Let's just undo this and try this again. Move. Go up. Cut. So now I'm going to lock this layer. I'm going to select this. Group it all together. Then I'm going to turn it off. Just get it out of the way. I'm guessing that this is just going to be a repeat of the exact same thing that I just did. So I could figure out copying and pasting and moving the cut line, but I honestly just don't want to deal with it. And I want to make sure it's what they gave me. So we're just going to do it again because it's not an extremely difficult thing to do. So again, I'm going to select all three. We'll merge them beforehand this time. Change that to magenta. I always use magenta. It honestly doesn't even matter what color, but magenta seems to be a color that is not used by itself very often, so it stands out. So again, we're going to take this cut path, move it to the cut layer. We are going to lock it. We're going to select this, group it together, turn off the group, and then all this extra random nothingness, like it literally is just an empty group, we're going to delete because it doesn't need to be here. So we'll turn these back on. And then, because they had two of them, we'll select them again. Got to unlock my layers. I'll select it again. We're going to hold Shift and Alt, which will keep it oriented on the same plane, as well as make a copy of it. So we're going to do that for both of them. The nice thing about this is it also keeps everything in the same layer path. So now we've got everything set up. We've got our artwork layer. We've got our cut layer. The only thing we need to do at this point is add registration marks. I have a Suma. Suma has a built-in script 
to add the registration marks. So you just go to file, Sumico produce, add registration marks, and it automatically puts all of the registration dots just outside of the R word. I can change these, I can modify these. It's just suggested that they be aligned. You could like theoretically take this dot and move it in. It does work. Suma just does not suggest it. So the only thing I'll typically do is I'll like move them if they're in the way, or sometimes I'll add more if it's something super complicated that it's cutting. In this case, the default is fine. So at this point, ooh, I should write another script. At this point, what I typically do is I will turn off the layer for cutting. I'll save it as a PDF, open that PDF in Onyx, tell it to print, to send to the printer. Then from that computer, I actually print it, even though it prints to get there. From there, I will typically delete the artwork layer, not just turn it off, but delete it, and then save this onto the Suma as a PDF. And I will probably record the whole thing, but right now I need to get approval on the size because it's not a full sheet. So I got to see what they want to do. So maybe it will be more, but just to be safe, I'm going to end this video. If you have specific questions about my like workflow or process on this, let me know. Again, I'm probably going to write a script to save the Suma cut file automatically because that would be very nice. Um, but again, if you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.